I'm here at the center, or what will be the center. I'm expecting my third visitor to have a look and a chat. And I haven't even got the keys yet. I'm having a peek in there, that's just the usual thing we do. Uh, I got an email from council yesterday asking questions about the hands-on sort of stuff we wanted to do in the downstairs part of the building. The uh, tools, woodworking, metalworking, that sort of stuff. Apparently that's a bit dodgy in terms of zoning for the building. So we'll have to have a rethink. And that's okay because I have always said the building that we get will shape the services that we develop in the building and that's fine if we can't do woodworking we'll just concentrate on the writing and photography and uh, web design and all that sort of stuff so the bottom line is i have always said the offerings that we develop will be shaped by the building that we get initially but the offerings that we develop and the offerings that we hope to develop will then shape the building that we want to get next. So this building is always going to be our startup building, but it's never going to be our full-time building. And that's proved by the fact now that we can't do the woodworking stuff in there. That's fine. We will concentrate on the other things that we are allowed to do in there and in the background start working on where and what the new building will look like or needs to look like. That's my philosophy. But in the meantime, I'm going to bring the sign back out again for a little bit of a play. Um, I just need to clean up some glue squeeze out uh, and make sure it's tip top shape to go when it's required to stamp our mark on our first building. The longer I hang around here the more the missus gets me to do jobs. Today she wants me to stop her roller door in the garage squeaking. She made me watch a video that's 17 minutes long some dude who reckons he's a mix, Mr. Fix-It took 17 minutes to tell me how to fix the roller door and at the end of the thing his door still squeaked When I make a video in my shed it's for entertainment I am not a how-to guy. I do not show you how to do something. I show you how I do it for entertainment purposes. But this guy put himself out there as a, this is how you do it, and then failed to actually do it. That gives me the And what makes it worse is made me watch that video as an instructional video on how to do something. And the only useful thing he told me in that video was to use a silicon based spray, not WD-40. Have a listen now. My door doesn't squeak, Mr. Fix-It, and I'm not a Mr. Fix-It, I just did it without using 17 minutes worth of non-helpful instruction.
I like looking at the rain. It's kind of calming for some reason. It gives you time to think. But thinking isn't always a good thing. But looking at the rain, it seems to be calming. In fact, I've got a smile on my face right now because I'm thinking, thank God I'm not out there patrolling in Shorewater Bay or somewhere. And you know, when I look back on my career, 12 years full time in the army and a lot of bush time, I think I only got rained on maybe twice. That's because I wasn't in infantry. The dark clouds weren't following me. Job done, back to the computer.